Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Since Hardware 3 retrofits have begun, there are lots of people asking whether or not their car qualifies for the retrofit and what makes someone eligible. So we're here to break it all down right now. The first thing we need to do is establish a baseline of knowledge on what the key components are when we talk about hardware one, hardware two, 2.5, or three. This can get complex depending on how deep you go, but we'll try to keep it super simple. There are three major components to consider, the MCU, the ECU, and the cameras. Starting with the MCU, no, this isn't the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's the media control unit or the main computing unit. This is effectively the computer that is responsible for handling the functions of media in your car, such as the touchscreen and instrument cluster. Tesla currently has two iterations of their MCU, referred to as MCU1 and MCU2 respectively. Again, keeping things super simple, MCU1 was the initial computer, so it dates back to 2012, and as a result, it is slower and less powerful than MCU2. There are even occurrences of MCU1 failing as a result of the demand of the latest software. Cars with MCU1 range from 2012 to about February 2018. MCU2 is a more powerful and faster computer and can handle all the latest functionality and current software, including video capabilities. Cars with MCU2 range from March 2018 to present. Next, let's talk about the autopilot ECU and cameras. ECU stands for Electronic Control Unit and is the computer responsible for the autopilot capabilities and even some non-autopilot capabilities. This is the overarching component that is referred to when talking about hardware 1, 2, 2.5, and 3. There are currently four versions of the ECU. ECU-1, also known as Hardware-1, ECU-2, known as Hardware-2, ECU-2.5, known as Hardware-2.5, and ECU-3, known as Hardware-3, or Tesla Full Self-Driving Computer. Each iteration of the ECU constitutes an increase in computing power and redundancy necessary to achieve autopilot, enhance autopilot, and eventually full self-driving capabilities. Cars with Hardware 1 were built between September 2014 to October 2016 and have a single front-facing camera. Cars with Hardware 2 were built between October 2016 and August 2017 and have three front-facing cameras and five surround cameras and allegedly these cameras are monochrome. Cars with Hardware 2.5 were built between August 2017 in April 2019 and have eight surround color cameras, but also have the additional redundancies which require additional wiring harnesses. Hardware 2.5 coupled with MCU2 also brings Tesla cam and sentry mode. This now brings us to Hardware 3, which adds an exponential increase in power and redundancy to Hardware 2.5. Any Model S, X or 3 built after April 2019 comes with Hardware 3 standard. You can check the manufacturer sticker on your door jam to verify the month and year your car was built to see where you fall. Okay, so let's put it all together and see if you qualify for Hardware 3 upgrade slash retrofit. As of this video, Hardware 3 is not compatible with MCU1 and there is currently no upgrade path for MCU1 to MCU2. That said, Hardware 1 is only paired with MCU1 and does not have the processing power, cameras, or redundancy necessary for Hardware 3. So if you have a Hardware 1 car, you absolutely cannot get Hardware 3. Hardware 2 is also paired with MCU1. Even though it has additional cameras, it doesn't have the processing power or redundancy necessary to support Hardware 3. As of this video, Hardware 2 cannot get Hardware 3 unless Tesla creates an upgrade path to MCU 2. 
Hardware 2.5 is split being paired with both MCU 1 and MCU 2. Those early cars built prior to March 2018 with MCU 1 have everything necessary to upgrade to Hardware 3 except the MCU, which again, doesn't have an upgrade path to MCU 2 as of this video. If you have a Hardware 2.5 car with MCU 2, you have everything you need to upgrade to Hardware 3. All right, now on to one of the last pieces, and that is priority of when you are going to get called to get your car retrofit slash upgraded. Presently, Tesla is grouping cars by hardware, VIN, vehicle type, and location, with the Model S and X having priority and Model 3s coming later. So for instance, Model S or X cars with hardware 2.5 and MCU 2 on the West Coast are in Group 1 and will likely get the call for the upgrade for their computer ASAP. Tesla will reach out to you when your group is called, so no need to reach out to them. The rollout is also dependent on Tesla training different service techs to perform the retrofit. Some service centers and techs need to do it inside the service center, while others who are more savvy and experienced can do it via mobile tech. So check with your service center once you get called. Last but not least, let's talk about cost. The Hardware 3 retrofit is only available for those who purchase full self-driving. All of the parts and labor are included in what you paid for full self-driving, so there's no additional cost to install and configure the hardware. So there you have it. Everything you need to know to determine whether you can get an upgrade to Hardware 3. Let us know in the comments if we missed anything or what your experience has been getting your upgrade. Until the next time, enjoy your day and enjoy your Tesla.